Hi guys, this is my take on a restaurant classic now, they're normally made with chicken but we have a sweet tangy sauce, cashew nuts and crispy fried fish this is my stir fried fish and cashew nuts absolutely fantastic so what we need to do is take some white fish or some firm fish whatever you like I'm using uh, sea bass or barramundi um, and it's already been cleaned and gutted and I've actually taken the fillets off now what we need to do is just cut it open and use the fillets in strips so we need to cut the strips into about one inch um, thick pieces now that's going to give us a nice piece of fish when we fry it in our dish now obviously it will shrink a little bit but it's not going to shrink too much if we cut it to a good one inch uh, thick size now you can use any fish you want guys cod, whiting, herring, pollock bream, barramundi, anything it's, it's, it's up to you, whatever fish you like right what we need to do then we need to actually put some oil in a pan warm it up and we want to add our cashew nuts now we don't want to add the oil too hot because we do not want to burn the cashew nuts we want a nice even browning on the cashew nuts and they don't take too long to cook to be quite honest so as soon as we browned our cashew nuts take them out drain them on some kitchen towel and then what we want to do we want to take our half a green pepper half a yellow pepper half a red pepper and our onion and we want to cut this into cubes now you can cut it into strips or whatever you feel but if you cut it into cubes um, the presentation looks really good in the finished dish but by cut, cutting the peppers into cubes obviously we want to cut the onion into cubes too and then it all looks the same now after this dish has been prepared it comes together in seconds it is really really um, easy to make it's a simple dish but it is very very tasty so that's our onions and peppers cubed and what we need to do now we need to cut up about three or four dried chilies now I just cut these into about one one and a half centimeter pieces and we're going to fry these before our veg now chilies the dry chilies do not take long to fry and you have to be extremely careful they will burn very quickly so it is a very quick stir fry just toast them up and you can smell that smokiness of an aroma coming off the chilies as it's cooking in the oil take them out and drain them on the kitchen towel with the cashew nuts and then to the same oil we want to add our veg we want to add our peppers and onion and give it a very very quick stir fry now we're not just trying to fry this till it goes all soft and soggy it's a quick stir fry just to give it that part cooking and then take out so like I say don't overdo it quick stir fry round take out and put to one side this just makes our stir fry dish when we come to actually uh, make our meal very very quick very quick indeed 
And what we want to do, we want to add our fish to some flour. Now normally I would actually salt the fish, but I haven't. But I have added salt to the tempura flour. So a little bit of salt in the tempura flour. And what we need to do, we need to coat this fish generously, but not too thick. And then we need to shake off the excess when we add it to our oil. So all we're trying to do now guys, we're trying to crisp up, cook our fish. Nice and golden brown. Now put it in the oil but don't stir it straight away, let it settle a little bit. And what we've got to try and do is not stir it too much whilst it's in the oil. We don't want to break this fish up. Now obviously it's fish and it can break up. So just nice and gently when we're stirring and moving around. We just need to keep it moving a little bit just so we can turn the fish over to cook on all sides. We want a lovely crispy brown coating. Now as soon as we get the fish looking a bit crispy brown we need to take it out and drain. Now try not to pile it all on top of each other because obviously it's still hot and it will still start to steam. So we'll get it in the tray and then once it's in the tray just try and space it out a little bit and it will keep crispy. And then we need to fry the fish carcass because this is going to be the base of our dish. Don't forget we're making this a restaurant style um, fish and cashew nuts. And most Thai restaurants, when you get a fish dish, you will normally have the fish carcass fried as the base and everything piled on top. So into a pan then, a couple of tablespoons of oil, a fairly medium heat, add a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, quick stir fry. Now we're trying not to burn this, so watch the heat. Um, we're just cooking for an aroma. So just be careful of the heat, we don't want to burn anything. And then in with a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce. Just moderate the heat, just make sure it doesn't burn. There's nothing worse than bitter garlic with this dish because obviously the fish has a nice subtle taste. And then we want to add about three quarters of a tablespoon of seasoning sauce and two tablespoons of oyster sauce. And now we're going to add one tablespoon of Shosing wine, Chinese wine. Give it a little stir around, mix it all in, let all the flavors melt together and then we need to add two tablespoons of sugar. Now I'm using ordinary white sugar. You can use any sugar, palm sugar, white sugar, entirely up to you. And then what we need to do now is add one tablespoon of tamarind pulp. And this is gonna give our little sour taste in there. So we got the salty from the soy sauce, oyster sauce, we got the sugar, so we got the sweets. And now we've got the sour from the tamarind. This is a fantastic tasty dish. And what we need to do now is we just need to cook it until it actually thickens. When you can drag your spatula through the sauce and it leaves a streak, it's thick enough. Then all we need to do is start adding our pre-cooked ingredients. Now we've pre-cooked this simply because we want that crispiness in our fish. So get the fish in, a little quick stir round with the veg, just to coat the um, fish and veg. Nothing, we don't want to actually turn this fish soft and soggy, so it's very quick this. It's just a quick turnover, a quick coat, and then we need to add all the rest of the ingredients. 
So we need to add our fried chilies, our cashew nuts, and then we're going to actually garnish this with some chopped green onion. And that's just gonna give it that little sparkle of green in our dish. Give it a quick stir through guys. Now be nice and gentle, obviously we don't want to break up the fish. Um, but a little bit of a coating on everywhere. And this is a really, really tasty dish. Add a little shake of white pepper, stir it through so it's all incorporated and then we need to serve up. It is so simple because we've already prepared our ingredients before the final stir fry. So this is a restaurant style stir fried fish and cashew nuts. Now guys if you like what we're doing don't forget like and subscribe, share with your friends and we'll catch you next time.